Hey folks, Jen or Murgriffin here, taking a look at the XTAR WP2 Intelligent Battery Charger. And we all need to be intelligent about our batteries. So, let's take a look at what came in the package and some of the fun details, and then we'll come back and talk about it. So this is a WP2 charger, intelligent charger from XTAR. For two 14500, 16760, 18650, 18490, 17670. And with spacers, 10 440s, 16 340s. Now, what it's advertising is a CV charging method, which is trickle charge, constant charge, constant voltage. We'll get into that a little later. It also has reverse uh, polarity protection, temperature protection. In other words, if your battery gets too hot, it will cut itself off. Um, and some other pretty good features, including USB output. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. A car charger. Charge your batteries in the car. Woohoo! Hey, it's the small things in life, you know? A wall adapter. That also has an LED in it to indicate that it's plugged in. And the uh, plastic unit itself. Oh, and because we're spiffy, it has instructions, a warranty card, and then a charger instruction manual, which basically covers most of the exact same language that's on the back of the box with a few extra bits here and there. Now, if we look close, there are two channels and it comes with two spacers so that you can charge anything smaller than like an 18500. You'll need to use that spacer. Anything bigger and no, it won't fit very well. Without them, 18650s. It has one light over each bay. Now these bays are independent charging channels, meaning they're monitored separately and all that kind of stuff. 12 volt in for your wall socket. back information on the input and output. Now on the top here, you can change the output. The zero setting is to use the USB out, and then you can set it for either one amp out or a half an amp out to the batteries in each channel. Um, the red light in the middle will come on when the USB is active and you have something charging from the USB. That's a little funky, we'll get into that. So here it is, and you'll notice I do not have it plugged into a wall socket. But we have that spiffy USB output, so I'm going to put it on zero to make the USB output work. Now what you have to do is put a loaded battery in it, and then you can connect something to the USB output. Now I see the little USB light there come on, meaning it is sending power from that battery to the USB out. And if I turn the light out, you can see that my little mini headphone amplifier that is USB charged is indeed charging. Now that's a little odd. You know, you put a battery in your charger and then you use it to power out something else to charge, but I suppose traveling, if you don't, it might be useful. You could use this charged battery to charge your USB device and then plug the unit itself into the wall and recharge that 18650. Um, I suppose for versatility, it's kind of a bonus. Um, I might prefer if I could actually have the wall socket plugged in and then charge my USB, but hey. So the XTAR charger, two independent charging channels. It's going to take 10 440s, 16 340s if you put the little spacers back in, um, 18 500s, 17 670s, 14 500s, pretty much most of the batteries that we as vapors are using in our mods. Um, it is a smart charger and it advertises it as TC, CC, and CV. Basically what that means is when you put a battery in here and the voltage is below three volts, give or take a percentage or two, the charger is going to be in trickle charging mode where it's only going to output about 100 milliamps plus or minus a few current to the battery to kind of 
wake it up and get it back up to a reasonable charge when the voltage is between 3 and 4.1 volts plus or minus one or two, it's gonna be in constant current or CC mode, and then it's gonna start sending 500 milliamp, it's plus or minus a few, to the battery. When the battery reaches 4.1 to 4.2 volts, the charger's going, charger's going to go into constant voltage mode. It's gonna output 4.2 volts for the charge, and it's gonna watch it. And when the battery reaches 4.2, it cuts the current off. The charge will then monitor the status of the batteries in real time, <clears throat> kind of safely and effectively. And it's just going to keep cycling. So if you leave the battery on there, it's not going to charge it over 4.2 volts. Now, Lion batteries, which is basically what we all use for our ASICs, it's in our computers, it's in our laptops, it's in our cell phones. Lion batteries don't have memory. And that goes with that is they don't like, they're really not capable of, of absorbing overcharge like those older batteries with memories we used to use. This means that it's kind of critical that a Lion battery never go over 4.2 volts. Um, this one does a good job of ending at that charge or below it. In other words, it will not take your battery over 4.2 volts and it cuts it off. The only other quote-unquote intelligent charger that I have used is the Pila, um, which does that whole trickle charging thing, and when the battery gets to full, it just keeps sending little bits to keep it charged. 50 bucks. They're fairly expensive. Um, and it doesn't stop the current to the battery once it's charged. This one just checks every once in a while, and if your battery drops below 4 volts, it'll start feeding it again so that it keeps it near 4.2 the only one that does that complete charge termination. So intelligent charging. Separate channels. Um, so you put two different kinds of batteries in here, I believe. I could be wrong. I still like to keep it, you know, two IMRs, same manufacturer, maybe different sizes, but I like to keep them the same. Um, and it has the USB out, although you have to run that from a battery, which is a little odd, but I suppose I could see that it's useful. The supreme bonus is it is $16.99 from sbflashlights.com. Now, I've seen it some places closer to $24 or $25, but even at that, it's half the price of the Pila charger, which is one of the most recommended charges for flashlight batteries, which is basically what we're using for our mods. Now the flashlight battery sites are recommending the XTAR. Um, there's also a model for like $34 that has six slots for charging, six batteries at the same time. Oh, my junkie stream. Um, but anyway, safe charging um, that stops charging when the battery is full and then just monitors it so you will not get an overcharge. Now, that will increase the life of your battery and increase the safety because um, if a charger overloads, it will heat build up in the battery and left unchecked, it may make the cell fail catastrophically, they call it. In other words, um, start venting. Uh, in the case of IMR batteries, just venting. In the case of some of our other Lion batteries, catching fire. So, um, while in the Pila, that can still happen because it keeps providing a small amount of current even after the battery's full. This charger doesn't. And it's cheaper. So, if you've just been using that standard old trust fire, maybe it's time to upgrade to a smart charger that will increase the life of your batteries and maybe even increase their safety a little bit. So that's the XTAR charger. eBay, Amazon, Google it, Fla SB Flashlight, uh, Obtronics.com. There's a whole bunch of places on the net that you can find it. XTAR WP2.